<laughs> hey guys, this is Kiro Show here, and I am surprised. Within the last month of doing YouTube, I've already hit 300 subscribers. I did not expect that to happen so fast. I honestly didn't expect myself to grow this fast, or even be that interested to some people. Now, this what if I'm going to be doing, but I'm also going to try and finish the 10 quirks. Well, I'm going to be trying to upload 10 quirks along with this one today. Okay. Now, as I am doing that, I also want to say that I've been getting recommendations for a lot of different what-ifs. And I have All for One Sun, Doomsday, and a Hell Form from in Ichigo's Hell Form. Now, I can put those what-ifs on the list, but I'm still going to try and cover some of the ones I want to cover before I start doing fan ones, because it would give me time to research them properly. Speaking of which, apparently there is not a lot on Mad Max. There is not a lot of, on Mad Max aside from the video games and anything like that. So, since I've seen Mad Max basically... Like, struggle with a guy in the video game and skip ahead if you guys don't want to hear this but he's literally struggled with a guy that's like twice if not three times his size and muscle and he's one so i want to say that would put him around the ability to lift around 300 to somewhere above that weight in weight and he's actually able to run so because of that i didn't really know a very good quirk to eat there. I did not know of a really, really good quirk to use, aside from his... I'm going to give Deku a fiery temper, and this is going to be a perception-based quirk. So basically, anytime he reacts to something, well, thing, he has a faster reaction time than regular people. The normal rate of human reaction time is, I believe, 500... Well, 650, 500, there, 648 milliseconds. Or, I believe it's somewhere around 250 milliseconds. Personally, I think my reaction time is around 60 milliseconds. Because at the store, I've actually dropped something, and I was actually able to catch it right before it fell out of the shelves. And someone saw this, and they were kind of confused. Because they saw me look away from it. But out of the corner of my eye, I saw it, immediately jerked back to it, and caught it. So, I want to say his reaction time will be around... Let's see, the fastest reaction time I can think of is probably... 0.20 milliseconds. Or, let's say his reaction time is at least half a second. Or just one second. At the max. Or the lowest, or the highest. It's somewhere between 1 to 2 se well, between 0.5 or half a second to 1 second. Now, if you guys have an idea as to how fast that could actually be, or I'm going to have to look this up in a minute or later, but I'm just going to start with world building then. Now, <sighs> we need to breathe. Anyways. Deku is going to be starting around his 3 to 4 years old, and this is whenever he's watching the All Might video. Now one thing he does is he actually, he would try, he, will, he would start running out of the room really excited, and as soon as he runs out, he would immediately just run into his mom and actually almost knock her over. But right before that, Deku would immediately just, he would... Grab her by the hand and actually catch her. Let's say she had a cup of water in her hand. He would have grabbed her by the hand and actually grabbed the cup and immediately have put her back on the onto her feet. And she's confused by this, asking what that was. And Deku said that he just caught her and he also caught her cup. Now, she's 
really concerned and really confused because that was essentially she didn't even have time to process that really, very much. So this is whenever the doctors, well, she would take him to the cork doctor, and they would immediately say that it seems that he does have a cork, but it's not either one of his parents. It's actually a reaction time quirk. Or it's a... Basically, you have hum faster reaction time to anything that's happening. They would ask what he means by that, and she would. the doctor would give an example that basically, if someone were to hold a gun to your son's face and they were to pull the trigger, your son might be able to actually dodge the bullet. Now, she's kind of concerned at how extreme that example was, but he would then say that, I'm sorry, let me try something less extreme. If someone were to if someone were to throw a ball at your son, your son would be able to either catch it or try and dodge it. Now, he might not be able to read, like, this is only going to happen for about this amount of time. Between Okay, I'm really going to have to figure this out. Okay, but he's going to be really, really fast. I'm going to have to figure this out in a minute. Anyways, that is where they would then say that this is essentially his quirk, and it's very, very good. Because if he were to ever become a martial artist or things like that, he can actually use his quirk. Deku would say that he doesn't want to be a martial artist, he wants to be a hero. The doctors would then say that he can he can probably become a really good hero with this quirk and actually help a lot of people. He can't really be a rescue hero, but being a combat wise hero, he might be a very good one. Now, Deku would then actually go to school and people are showing off their quirks. And Deku would say that he has his own he actually does have a quirk. Now then. People are talking, and they're asking, what's his quirk, what's his quirk? And he would then say that he has the fastest reaction time, or his, his quirk basically enhances his reaction time. It can slow things down. Now, because of that, Deku would actually have to train his reaction time and actually have to get better and better at it. Now, Bakugo would say that that's nothing, his quirk is better, because Deku's quirk is powerful, but it's not flashy, like Bakugo's. Bakugo would immediately try throwing an explosion at Deku, but Deku would just immediately take a step to his left, and tell Bakugo that that's not going to work. He just said that he can dodge anything that's coming towards him, or that he sees coming toward him. So Bakugo would immediately just keep trying to attack Deku, and attack, and attack, and attack, and Deku just keeps sidestepping, and he would eventually just punch Bakugo in the face. Or knock him to the ground. Now, people would actually look at Bakugo, and they're somewhat laughing at him. Bakugo saying that his quirk is better than all of theirs, including Midoriya's, and that that doesn't mean anything to them, because he is going to be the best hero he can possibly be. Now, Deku would tell Bakugo that that, that makes sense, but he's going to be the number one hero whenever he grows up. Now, because of that, Bakugo and Deku would actually have a rivalry. Rivalry. Since they are kids. And Deku, he would then... He would go home that day and actually he would ask his mom to help him train his reaction time. And to help get his quirk stronger. She would help him by actually using her quirk and actually making small objects fly at him. She would do like small things like unsharpened pencils, erasers, just soft things that are small that he can dodge. Like, hmm. I was going to say marbles, but marbles aren't soft. I've been hit by one. Now then, that is whenever Deku would actually learn. He needs to have faster reaction time, so he'd actually start training his body. Because... He can react by dodging it, but he needs to be able to actually defend himself. So, he would immediately just start learning. He'd be doing basic put up, push-ups, basic sit-ups, things like that, and he's actually training himself. 
Now, he's just doing these little basics along with going on a couple runs. And he's still a kid by this point, so he's just doing that, and it's not really bothering him very much. But let's say that whenever they were older, or they're getting older, that Deku, he would, let's skip to, hmm, ooh, I can do that. Now, let's skip to about Deku being 10 years old, and he's actually been increasing his intensity on the workouts. Along with having his mom actually somewhat throw marbles at him. And these are about the size of a bullet, so Deku can easily dodge a bullet. But it's just that... Well, not dodge a bullet, but the, how fast his mom is throwing them, he can actually dodge them. And he's even got... He's even learning how to like predict where everything... Okay, sorry about that, guys. I got a scam like you call, and that was annoying. Anyway, so... Deku is learning that he can actually sense the things around him and actually dodge them. So he can predict where they're going to stop or if they're moving or not. Now, because of this, Deku would immediately just start learning basic things. Because he's been doing advanced workouts... He's been trying to learn boxing, he's been trying to learn somewhat of a shoe style. Yes, I just said shoe style, because I couldn't really think of a martial arts involving feet right now. And he's trying to do all that. But him and Bakugo are still somewhat rivals, but they're still somewhat friends. And people would know this, because Deku is always talking about how he's going to be the number one hero. Baku would always try and throw an explosion at him, but Deku would always just dodge and immediately just punch him in the face, or just start pissing Baku off. Now, Deku's walking home one day after he's going to the gym. He's thinking that that was pretty, like that was pretty good, and he needs to actually start working on something else. He needs to focus more on his fighting style. This is whenever Deku would actually. See that there's some guy in an alley actually harassing a girl. Now, he's talking to her. He's trying to, you know, convince her. But she's actually just not buying it or talking to him. And Deku would immediately just... He would go to punch him. But as soon as he punches him, this guy would turn around. And Dick would have to actually fight him. And after doing that, this is whenever Deku would actually just... He's dodging him, he's punching him, and he's actually doing better than any normal person would. It would eventually get to the point where Deku would immediately just... He would start swinging around, or not swinging around, but... He'd be swinging punches, and anytime this guy went to go punch him, Deku would immediately just slow down. And go to punch him in the nose, or punch him in the face, or he would go for the eyes. So he just fights dirty. Now, Deku doesn't have an honor sense, or an honor code, when it comes to fighting. Like how Karashima, or Kuwabara does, so he honestly just fights to take people down. And the girl that he actually would see is Hinamatoga. Because... He used, Mad Max uses knives, he uses guns, he uses all sorts of things. So, honestly, to me, this would probably be the best ship that makes sense, so I'm doing that. Yes, I know I have not done a new Raka ship before anyone posted it in the comments. That is going to happen soon. Now, because of this, Dick would be talking to her, and she's telling him that she's fine, as she would slowly slip the blade she has in her behind her in her skirt, actually back to where it was resting and hiding. Now then, he would then talk to her, saying that it's a good thing he passed by, and that then this is whenever he would actually begin to bleed from his arm, and he would just say that, well, that's not fun. He has to go patch this up now, but Togo would immediately just offer to do it for him, and she doesn't have as much of an obsession with blood as she does yet in the anime, or in canon, because let's say she's still developing it, or it's just not as prominent in her head yet. Now then, this is whenever Deku, 
he's talking with her and he's getting her name. And she's actually saying that, well, she's asking him about his quirk and he's asking her about hers. And she's just saying that she would say that she's quirkless, but she's a very honest person. So she would just say that her quirk is a blood quirk. Basically, she can disguise herself as anyone as long as she digests their blood. She would then use an example by grabbing one of the bandages Deku had and actually licking it. She would then immediately turn into Deku. Deku would then say that that's pretty cool and ask what else it can do. And she would then be taken aback as she speaks up and she would mimic his voice, the way he talks, and certain things about his body posture. He's then telling her that that's a pretty cool quirk. In fact, it's not really villainous. It's more... It's more of a stealth-based quirk than a villain quirk, because a villain quirk would basically be... It would basically be something like disintegrating something or trying to incinerate someone with fire. Just, like, telekinesis is a very good, good idea, because you can either rip someone apart with telekinesis or stop Rebel from falling on somebody. So it's actually a very good example. She would then understand this, saying that that makes a lot of sense, but it's she still doesn't really like her quirk a lot. The recording stopped. Anyways, I really do hate that. Now, Deku would then go home for the night, and he would actually get dressed in his outfit. Now, basically what he wears is... He wears a leather jacket, leather pants, along with knee pads and stuff like that, along with a bandana to cover his face. Now what he's doing is he's actually going out for some vigilante work. Basically what he does is, he's been called like a mysterious hero or a vigilante, and they just call him Rage or Mad. Because Deku, he's... He's somewhat calm. But whenever he uses his quirk and fights with people, sometimes he just feels angry or he just naturally has a temper. Now, doctors don't really know why he has a temper that's big or this bad, but he's somewhat cocky and arrogant like Bakugo, so they think that that might be just it. And they would just call him the Rage or Rage, something like that. Now, He's actually out fighting a lot of different villains and stuff like that. And this is whenever someone would actually see him and they would probably snip a picture. Then people would be talking about how there's this mysterious vigilante and how he actually does exist. Because not only have people mentioned him, but they said that they've seen him use... like Basically, they've seen weird different devices like knives, a grappling, what they think is like a... A repelling hook or a just very simple form of gun. But it's essentially a homemade grapple gun. Now then, because of this, Deku is actually talking with Togo one night while he's actually doing his vigilante work. And he would be immediately shot in the back. Well, Deku, let's say that he wasn't thinking about it at the time whenever he was talking, and he was actually on the rooftops. He would have actually been shot in the back. Now, this is actually Snipe who shot him. He would immediately then just start running away and actually talking, saying that he needs help, he needs help, he's gonna come by where her... He's gonna come by where he thinks her house is, but she says that she can't do that, and she'll just meet him at this location. Deku has actually, basically, he didn't really think about it at the time, but he took, like, a picture or, he ripped off a part of his shirt and he stuffed it in the bullet hole, trying not to scream about this. So he's actually not leaving a trail. And he would actually meet Toga at, I want to say a park, but that'd be a very too public of a place. Hmm. That's a bit weirder. Never mind. Let's see. They would meet at like a... 
Hmm. Not on the top of a building. They would meet in like the back alley or underneath the bridge where it originally happened in Canon or at least nearby by the water. They're let's say that they're hiding in the in the forest by the river. Now this is actually an area close by. And Toka's asking how exactly he got shot or why he's not going to the hospital. And he's just he would then have to be honest with her saying that the reason why he can't go is because he is the vigilante or the one that a lot of people have been talking about. She would then be actually somewhat surprised saying that it kinda would make a bit of sense because you act differently at school sometimes. Or you just seem to be you seem to do something weird with your pencil. And he'd ask what she means. And she would take one of Deku's knives, actually doing what she does with the, her fingers and cannon. And Deku's actually looking at the way she's holding the knife, asking her why she knows how to do that so well. She would be honest with him, saying that she has a fascination with blood, but she more or less has one with him now, since she's only ever seen him bleed this much. Or this is the most blood she's ever seen from a person. Now. Because of that, Deku is telling her that that's pretty weird, but he just needs her to sew up and take out the bullet out, of, get the bullet out of his back. She would do this with a pair of tweezers and bandages, along with one of the knives that Deku actually handed her. So now, the way she would take out the bullet is she would cut a straight line down about an inch and a half. And she would actually have to take these two things, or two pairs of tweezers, and actually move the skin. Then actually having to dig in with them and rip the bullet out. After doing this, she would quickly stitch Deku up and actually put the patch on him. Saying that that was probably the coolest and the grossest thing she's ever had to do. He's saying that, well, this is not very fun for him, but he's glad she's enjoying herself as she would begin laughing a bit. Now, I'm going to have to be leaving this part off of here because my recording keeps stopping and pausing on me. So I have to do a bit of editing to put these together. But anyways, I think I've said this in the beginning of the video, but I'm really happy that all of you guys subscribed. I... I don't think I've ever asked anyone to subscribe, they just really seem to like my content, and that really does surprise me, because I just, I've always been interesting in storytelling, so I just started doing it for My Hero Academia, and it's actually pretty fun, but I have not been posting a lot today, and I'm going to be trying to post more. So. I just hope you guys have enjoyed this, and I know this what if was kind of a little more fast paced, but Mad Max is more fast paced, so I am going to be trying to do that for this one. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video.